Okay guys, here we are in Spino's new F15 EX 1.9 Plus. We're doing beta testing for the new uh, AIM 260 Alpha. I believe it was created by either Spino or Yelcha. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, either way, we've got two J11s off our nose, obviously coming up on about 80 miles now. We're going to be comparing the AIM 260 with the AIM 120 Delta. All right, BVR mode, we've got target locked one and target two. Let's go ahead and start getting our nose a little bit oriented. We can switch back and forth between weapons. All right, got both of them off our nose now. Both at about 75 nose coming straight at me. So let's see first which one uh, gets the uh, weapon employment zone that the uh, circle will start opening up first. I'm cycling uh, between the two, as you can see. What I'll do is I'll fire on the first target and then I'll fire on the second target. Uh, I'll, I'll fire on the first one with the 260 and then the second with... Okay, it's looking like the Delta's in range and the 260 is not. So let's go ahead and start off with the Delta, which is now at 60, 60 miles. Let's see what she can do. All right, here's 60 miles, Fox 3. Let's switch to the second one. That's the 260, Fox 3. All right, now, now I know a lot of the beta testing is just watching the missiles. So when we get to about, I don't know, 40 miles, I'll keep tracking. But when we get to about 40 miles, I'll switch to the left control, F6. Ooh, look at that. Just to uh, take a look at how the missiles are doing. But right now, a little bit too far away, I believe. I just want to make sure I can keep providing guidance to these weapons. So it looked like, just purely off of observation, looked like the uh, 120 Delta has a bit more range, purely because the weapon employment zone uh, cursor, the turret, the Q, opened up before the 260, to the extent of my knowledge. Okay, so there's 40 miles. Let's take a look at how the missiles are doing. Left control, 6. Uh oh this guy's in trouble. This guy's in deep trouble. Dang. To go cold, brother. Missed. All right. Let's push our radar down. All right, so it looks lethal. Let's see what we got selected. We've got the 260. Let's go back to the 120. See if you can finish the job on up. There we are, 13,000. It's definitely gonna get you. Fox three. I've got visual on him, he's in trouble. He should be getting hit. Let's take a look at the missile. Alright, so that about do it. Uh, it definitely looked like that AIM 260 was uh, <laughs> performed very well. So let's pause it for now. The next test will be uh, 260s purely. Let's take a look at that and see how it goes. All right, guys. Here we are back with you in the F-15 EX. I'm loaded up purely with the uh, 260s, M 260s, and uh, it did appear that the 260 had greater range. Let me turn off this green. Uh, did appear the 260s had greater range than the um, than the 120 Deltas, for sure. So now we've got nothing but 260s. 
We're above Mach 1.1. We'll start a climb to about 35,000. We'll see what range our uh, uh, our aircraft get uh, within our ways. Looks like our way is going to be about 70, but we'll see. Okay, bandits are now 75 miles off our nose. I don't know what that was. Just flash for some reason. There's 70. I don't know if they. Uh, I don't know if it's glitching or something. I don't know, but. For the purpose of firing, well, I think we're going to fire. We're going to do Fox 3 at 65. There we go. It's okay. Solid Q at 66. Fox 3 times 2. There's one. There's two. Both of them fire down, which is very odd. Okay. So let's see how they do. Again, when we get to about 40 miles, I know you guys want to follow the missile. Uh, Fox 3 on both of them with the AIM 260s. And we'll see how they do. Coming up on 48 miles. I'm going to hold that. Let's see what we can do for the missiles. Uh-oh. This one's in trouble. This guy is in trouble. Run, bro. Run. You ain't running hard enough. Oh, miss. Okay. All right. One of them got lucky. One of them went cold. I don't know if you want to call it luck, but... We go 40 miles. Anyway, that missile had a lot of velocity on it. Looked very good. One on the left is dead. All right, 40 miles. M260. We've got two of them. Fox 3. Bandit's doing 640 knots coming at me hot. I'm doing 630 and decelerating. Let's take a look at F6. Or Can't let the aircraft get off track too much, so that's why I'm having to go back and forth. All right, we see you. Two misses. Let's try again. This time from 20 some miles. Fox 3. Uh oh, that one's spinning. I don't even wanna. Do I have any left? Nope. She's tracking, I think. Alright guys, we'll do another test here in a moment. Stay tuned with me. Alright guys, here we are back. Um, we're going to rerun that test we just did. Again, got the same two bandits. Uh, nothing but AM260s loaded up, as you can see. Um, I was kind of getting indications that the missile was good to go at, I think, 70 to 75 miles. Uh, I gotta start that over. Shoot, uh, I'd get a shoot cue open up, and then it would go away really quickly. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send a couple of missiles at about 75 miles this time and see how they do.
Oh, quick, 75 miles. Fox 3. Fox 3. Hmm. There we go. Uh, last time I fired the missile was at 65 miles, so about now. And one of them hit had plenty of energy, it looks like. So we'll see if this is an issue or not. And I think instead of uh, sh trying to wait until... Okay, we're getting a good shoot queued about 63 miles, but my speed was down a little bit. But I think we'll wait till they get to about 60, 55, 60. Let's take a look. F6. Four. Those things are moving. Okay, here we are. She's maneuvering. There's our first one. Man, she's got a lot of energy. Miss. The second one. Dang. 75 miles. I mean, that is impressive. Okay, let's get her, give her another run. Why not? 50 miles, 45 miles, excuse me, Fox 3. I guess what I'm trying to say and what I'm seeing is, yeah, it, it seems pretty accurate. That's the first one I believe I fired. And I pretty much should know when I get an RWR, when he's getting an RWR spike, because here we go. He's maneuvering. Oh man, this thing is fast. Miss. It missed and it still had its burner going. That is insane. Send you another one. 27 miles. Fox 3. This is a lethal missile, Yalta, Spino, Infidel, yes, yes, and yes. I think she's ready. Um, nothing hits 100% of the time, I mean, but that's it's about 50%, I'd say. So I'd say she's about ready to go. I hit a guy from 75 miles out, a 75 mile shot with the 260. With that said, this thing has my seal of approval. And, uh, yeah, she's a, she's a mean one. Anyways, hope this helps. Appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you for the next one.